Virgins in White Queens. I got a comic call for you. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse. You're watching JLS Comics. Thanks for pressing play once again. I really appreciate it. Um, I got a comic book haul for you. Back issue comic call. Nothing super key here, uh, but some beautiful covers and some things that I've been looking for for kind of a little while. So wanted to share these with you. I am going out of town later this week, so we're not going to have the live show, the podcast or vidcast, whatever you want to call it, on Thursday night, but we'll be back next week. Uh, but feel free to send me some news, send me some questions, send me the information that you have, um, and we'd be happy to talk about that on the show. Uh, feel free to hit me up uh, here uh, on Facebook. I have a JLS Comics page as well as Twitter. It's at ComicsJLS. Um, you know, mention me there, whatever. Uh, DM me. Be happy to you know chat with you guys. So, bunch of ways to get in touch with me is what I'm saying there. So, let's talk, go ahead and dive into the haul here. Uh, I am collecting new Avengers. Uh, there was some news, sort of recently, uh, pertaining to uh, some upcoming Avengers movies uh, and some very thin uh, rumor, uh, speculative rumors that um, you know uh, Hawkeye would become somebody else. And one of those characters uh, that came into uh, the conversation was Ronan. It's been a couple Ronins. Uh, one was a female named Echo, and then eventually Hawkeye became a Ronin. Um, whether that's going to happen or not remains to be seen. I do not recommend going out and picking these up on a spec play at all. However, I did. I did need these for my run, uh, so hearing the news kind of incentivized me a little bit to go out and get these. Um, and it would be cool if that does happen, you know. It's a pretty neat character, pretty cool costume. Um, and I could see like Ronin, um, Nomad, like the underground Avengers kind of thing being pretty cool. So, anyways, uh, I got this. <clears throat> it's New Avengers number one. Okay. And this is a uh, Virgin variant. It's a second print Virgin variant by Joe Quesada. And it's pretty cool. This is actually the first uh, cover appearance. Uh, you can see him over here. This is Ronan. So there you go. That's kind of one that you should look for uh, for Ronan. Um, and I don't know why it's on here, but for the longest time, I, I couldn't find this book for some reason. It, I, have, I have it on my poll, but I didn't get this book. But I was able to finally get a, a God Country number two, uh, and this actually was like two dollars. It's pretty, pretty near mint. I found a shop out in the sticks that basically had some stuff that I don't know they couldn't sell, so they were just trying to move up for cheap. All right, this is number three, David Finch cover. Great Century uh, cover there. So there you go. I love this cover. This is a variant, uh, apparently. Uh, it's the second cover. So it's issue four. You can see here, issue four, second cover, first print. And it's Ronin. Really freaking cool Ronin cover. It had a $20 price tag on it, but it was like two bucks for me. So, you know what? Can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna buy it's two bucks. I'm okay with that. Win or lose. New Avengers 5. There you go. Really cool. You can get Wolverine on there. Yeah. Gotta love Wolverine, right? Alright, this is another variant. You guys like your variants. Uh, this is New Avengers number 6. Your cap and, uh, Tony on there. <clears throat> okay, that's number six. This one you've seen quite a bit. It's New Avengers 11. And this is like the first um, interior appearance, I guess, because she was on the covers before. So this is the first appearance of Ronan, Echo Roman, that is. But there's something a little bit different about this, you can see right here. It's actually signed by David Finch. So I got uh, this one here. Echo, 
first appearance of as Ronan, signed by David Finch. So I gotta send that off for uh, it's good. That's gonna be um, VSP Red Label, uh, CBCS Red Labeled. This is the first appearance of Ronan, a uh, Hawkeye Ronan, and it's actually uh, issue number twenty-seven. Okay. With a whole gang of Electras up there. Well, Electra and uh, some ninjas. And then on the back, I think I put it here just for the trip home. And I forgot to take it out. But we have Marvel Age number six. And this actually gives you previews of um, <clears throat> Hawkeye. Previews of, uh, well, as you guys know, if you've been following this channel at all, that I collect, well, uh, among other characters, but I collect magic. I have a very thorough, full collection of magic. All her key issues, all the uh, mini series that she's been involved in, uh, the runs, and, and this and that. So, she had a, uh, a mini series that came out just before. New Mutants 14, it was called, um, you know, Magic, or Storm and Ileana Magic, um, whatever you want to call it. But this actually has a preview of that miniseries in it. So that's why I wanted to pick it up. I found it for a dollar. Pretty good condition. I'd probably put it in uh, BF condition. So, you know, whatever. Uh, it's got Cl Cloak and Dagger in it as well. But another cool thing about Marvel Age number six, you know, Cloak and Dagger as well. But this has a preview of Thor 337, so you get a couple months before the first official, you know, in continuity appearance of Beta Ray Bill, you get a, a, a look at him here in Marvel Age number six. So that's cool. And then last but not least, I got this really cool cover here by someone can't tell who. It is Illuminati New Avengers Road to Civil War number one. And this was like a box, so whatever. Cool cover. Like I said, I'm trying to fill out that run. So there you go. Couple more covers here. All right, so I finally got this. You guys have seen this uh, a little bit a while ago on other people's videos. Um, Mike Murfinator, um, amazing Murfinator, really likes this cover. Uh, it's a beautiful Art Adams cover. It's Astonishing X-Men, number 43, White Queen. Bam! Love it. This is amazing. I finally found it in the wild. It's easy. Well, really, any book, really, these days. You know, we always say they're hard to find. Very hard to find. But you know what? Go on eBay, and you'll find it. What we should be saying is it's hard to find in the wild. This book is hard to find in the wild. It is, like a ghost in the wild but I finally found myself a copy so I was super happy about that I was at Phil's comic shop uh, this week and uh, freaking awesome guy at the counter uh, developed a friendship with him you know I've been going there for a little while and he had this behind the counter and he's like you know what he got this I understand you appreciate your beautiful covers um, and he does too he really does um, internet fist bump to you if you're watching this uh, so he said, hey, you want a copy of this? So I got a uh, copy of Supergirl. This is 13B. This is stunning. I need more, more copies of this. I need to fill a wall of books of this, of just this cover. This is amazing. All right. So I got a couple. Well, there are so many deaths and rebirths and this and that for this character. It's kind of crazy. So, this is Incredible Hulk 178. Okay. Super cool cover. Uh, it says, In this issue, the death of Warlock, the fate of the universe. You killed Hulk's friend, for that Hulk will destroy you. Destroy the world. There you go. So, there you go. This is one of the many deaths of Warlock. Speaking of deaths of Warlock, it's not looking too good for him right here. This is Strange Tales 181. I've showed you guys 178, uh, 179, I think. 
So this is 181, so I need, I think I need to pick up 180 still. I gotta look at my database, but pretty sure I still need that. Um, key issue for Magic, for some reason I didn't have this, but I do now. Um, I did do a video on Magic. Talks about her history, her key issues, power set, her family, multiple Magics. There's been two people named Magic, by the way. But I didn't have this issue. Uh, this is the issue where we finally learn what her name is, Ileana Rasputin. Um, they mention it here. Um, she's having, well, the X-Men are having a battle with Arcade, uh, who runs Murder World, I think, believe it is, or Arcade World, I mean. Um, and he kidnaps a bunch of people. One of them is um, Ileana, very young Ileana. She hasn't been uh, aged yet. She's a very, like, she's a couple, couple years old, really, like seven, maybe. Uh, but we learn her name in this issue. So there you go. This is Uncanny uh, 145. Um, I did get this as well. It's uh, Avengers 257. There you go. This is the first, oh, first Nebula, uh, Gamora's sister. I was looking for this for a while. I just was holding out for, you know, again, all these you can pick up in the on eBay or online pretty easy, but to find them in the wild is the real challenge. So if you're looking for a hunt, hold out, look for it in the wild. It's gonna show up. I mean, it took me for this issue. I, I've seen it at shops for, you know, 15, 20 bucks. And I'm like, no, I'm sure I can do better than that. So I just kind of had it on my list. I was hunting out for it and everything, and I found it. And this cost me a dollar, okay? So, you know, not like an earth-shattering amount of money, but you know what? The point is, the deals are out there. Patience is the key when you're looking for these in the wild. You gotta be patient. All right, so I got issue 657. There you go. This is part of the first uh, arc there with Damien. You can see him up here, Damien Wayne. He um, basically, and I, another plug, I've actually done a history and origin video for Damien as well, which talks about this issue. Uh, 655, 656, and 657 as well. Um, he comes to Batman from Talia. She says, hey, you know, take care of him. Um, Robin's there. They have like a big kind of, you know, kind of a fight there in the back cave, you know, with the, um, you know, the big, uh, what do you call it? The big dinosaur in the back cave and everything. Um, so he's pretty unruly at this point. Um, and it's pretty cool. It's a cool arc. So this is 50, 657, Indy Kubrick cover. Third, uh, Third appearance, we'll call it, of, uh, of Damien, so there you go. And this is a book that is super cool, very appropriate because we are into October now, coming up to Halloween. Uh, this is uh, appropriate for a couple reasons, one of which is Halloween, it's Batman 666. There you go, oh, the fire. Um, so this is uh, 666. First appearance of Professor Pig, and also uh, the first time we get to see uh, Damien as Batman. This is kind of a future story. Uh, the next time we get to see that is actually in uh, issue 700, so about 40 issues later. A little, little less than 40, but um, cool issue, a key uh, in terms of, you know, Damien's uh, key issues, and his overall story, so... Uh, that is pretty neat, and then again, Professor Pig might be coming up here, uh, or actually not might, he is coming up here pretty soon in, in the DC world on screen. So there you go, and again, another Andy Kubert cover. This was like the Grant Morrison, uh, yeah, it says it, Grant Morrison, Andy Kubert uh, time frame, so really cool time. I love this era of Batman storytelling so there you go that's it this is uh my comic haul for you guys for right now um again comments everything down below if you 
liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe and hit that little bell right next to it because that's how you'll know when I upload everything, all the latest and greatest here on JLS Comics. Uh, I'm gonna put up a couple videos for you here on the screen, so check those out. And the circle with my name in it is gonna allow you to subscribe, so feel free to do that. Uh, that's it, this is Jesse here, JLS Comics. I'll see you in the next video.